Today, Paul is making Cobb salad, and I'm gonna review it. Yummy. Hey guys, it's Ken and Paul from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Cook and Review, just for you. Paul! Just for you. <laughs> just for you. Welcome back once again. Uh, we are going to be doing what today, sir? We're doing a Cobb salad, a very famous American salad, and I thought that uh, we try something healthy, although we're putting bacon on it. <laughs> just a little bit of bacon uh, and, and buttermilk. I think it's probably one of the most popular salads. We, we looked it up and it started in the 30s in Hollywood, the Brown Der Der Derby or Derby or something like that. Something like that. And it's, it wasn't, I'm not sure if it was the owner or the chef who created it. But created it, was the, it and then so... But the, but the owner was actually, last name was Cobb. And that's where the Cobb the Cobb salad from. came from. Every time I hear Cobb or read it on a menu, I'm thinking it's going to have a lot of corn in it because it's a Cobb corn salad. Corn and it has yeah. nothing to do with it. <laughs> it nothing to do with it. So what are we going to do first? Um, well, we got, I, I prepared up some of the stuff already. Like we, what? Okay, we've got some uh, sliced green onion, blue cheese has been already crumbled, avocado, we got julienne carrots, diced tomato, and cheese, which reminds me, I haven't done the eggs yet, and we'll talk, we'll do, uh, we'll put, you know what, we'll put we're gonna boil some eggs, we're right? gonna boil some eggs, but I wanna marinate some chicken, and we're gonna do a um, traditional Cobb salad, usually done with a vinaigrette, but you'll see it tons and tons of places, maybe even more so with uh, a ranch dressing, so we're gonna make a quick homemade ranch. Homemade ranch, that is very to simple that. to do, um, that's, there's not much to it, it's pretty, uh, pretty well, simple and really good. So the one you've seen is a hit like this. Right. Oops, oh my god, too far. And they give it a little twist and it comes out like that. Right. Okay. So I can see how that is slippery and someone could get hurt with that. So, and then take obviously handling a knife blade and you, you pinch it, dull side out and it'll just slide right off and there's your pit. Right. And I'll just put that aside. Um, so what I'm doing put the pit back in. Okay. So what I'm doing when I'm doing guacamole, okay? I usually, if, if this is gonna be a decorative salad, so we're gonna have actual wedges. When I'm doing guacamole, I'll just start at one end with the spoon kind of on an angle like this, and I'll just run at the length, and it'll just scrape the pulp right out. Right. Okay. Um, one thing I didn't talk about, is, and uh, but you can see it on any video, is how you know it's ready. It's on the firmness. So when you're pushing your finger, there should be, it should be, it should slightly give, but kind of, you you'll, it's it's one of those touch things, like when you steak. Right. It kind of it gives back. And over if, time, if, you if learn it, it. If it kind of just squishes in, it's overripe. It'll probably uh, brown. Okay. Because it, you know, like a. But if it's not ripe, it'll like. If it's light, too it'll green, like it's, it's like it's like rock. It's like uh, really okay. hard. So like you a piece see, of wood. You'll feel your finger start to go in, and then it it, it just moves in slightly, and you're like, oh, that's that's nice. Okay. So on the things I can make. The cuts. So when you when you're removing it now afterwards with the spoon, it's already going to be because it's hard to cut. Like once it's in a pulp. So you can do whatever whatever sizes you're doing. And when I scrape this now, it's gonna be it's gonna be in sections already, ready to go. Whoops. Let's see. Try that again. I've got it this way. So I've, I've almost like when you do a potato, like you, this cuts. So, so if I was doing the pulp, I'd just come in like that. I have it. So I'll do another one. Just like kind of messed one up here. But you can see it's in the cuts are are through. So I'm gonna have it in chunks. So this one. No, this is the, this is the safe way. Of so doing the safe it. way. I usually, I, it's like an eyeball. I usually just put the spoon in and then just kind of work it around and, and lift it out. It, it comes out just as fine. Right. That way, if, you, if you're if you're nervous about handling a knife, right. Then you want to be super safe. The spoon's always best, I would imagine. Spoon's uh, a little bit easier. So this isn't isn't going to be sliced up on the salad. I'm gonna have it in chunks like that. Oh, okay. I love avocado. It is so delicious. Mmm. So basically, we're gonna be doing equal parts mayonnaise and buttermilk with a nice little shake. Take half of this jar to make a bit more. 
and buttermilk. That's about half. I'd say, yeah, it looks good. <laughs> I love my whisk. I love it. Whisks are great for making pancakes and... So if you like your ranch like really thick, like if you're doing chicken wings and you want a bit thicker, a little more mayonnaise. You got some onion powder. Okay. Like a half a tablespoon? Yeah, half. Or actually, no, we'll put a little more. Like it more oniony. And then garlic powder. And probably the equal, the equal amount of, uh, of garlic powder in there. So like that. Half teaspoon garlic powder. Are you, yeah. you look, it looks like you're doing a full teaspoon okay, of Okay, that could be full. Yeah, because you just said you like and then, more. But you know what you can do? You can taste it in between. Ah. To see if you've got... Because we're going to put it... So a, start a, low first, just in yeah, case you put... We're going to put a, a tablespoon of sugar to sweeten it up a little bit. Nice. Okay. We're going to put a touch of lemon juice. What's a touch? Just a couple little shots there. Just a couple much. little shakes. We're gonna mix it up. Now, the thing is, this is a good base. And the thing is, I was thinking earlier, I don't have dill here. Dill is really nice in it. You can put pepper in there. And you see some with the, uh, with, um, some put diced parsley in theirs. Hmm. So variations, either dill, if you have fresh dill, chop it up. Or if you have dried dill, put a tablespoon in that. That's Very how simple cool. it is. Done? It's done, yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's the best like, I've ever had. That tastes like ranch dressing, and that's how well, that simple. Tastes better. That, tastes that is better. how simple it is. That tastes and you way can, better. And you can go on and like. You'll how see long? Some... How long that would last, though? Well, we're gonna eat all of this. You know what's funny? It actually tastes like it already has dill in it. Does no, it you know what it is? It's the onion it's the, powder. It's the, it's the onion powder and the garlic sort yeah, of yeah. give that um, a little false. But I, I, could, I could see why putting dill in it, that would actually up a Dill is bit. beautiful in it, and I wish I, I wish I would have thought of that earlier, and I don't have any dill here. So. You're fired. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> okay. Oh, dude, that looks awesome. So, let's do some chicken here. Okay. So we can grab a couple of chicken breasts from the store. I think it's in Ken's blog. Yeah. So we're going to um, we're gonna do it on the stove top. We're going to do it in a pan. We can uh, go out and grill it. There's different ways. You see some with roasted chicken, but it's, it's basically chicken that's diced on the saddle. They, they cook it and just let it cool. Usually okay. it's leftover chicken. Because the whole thing is this guy that had the restaurant in the 30s was hungry at late night and he just grabbed all the stuff out of his fridge, diced it up and threw it, and that became his signature salad, the Cobb salad. People loved it. And people loved it. So um, I like to do a marinated chicken. So I'm going to show you something simple. It's similar to what they marinate uh, souvlaki in. Oh, so okay. Olive oil, lemon juice, paprika. And garlic. And dill. A little bit of... And <laughs> no dill. A little bit of oregano. Oregano. So, we're going to put a... Mmm. That's beautiful. A bit of olive oil. We don't need... I'll go a little bit heavier. We okay. don't need a ton because we only got two. Would it, would, it, would it have been better to have marinated it from yesterday? Yes. Okay. Everything's always... You could have... I'm just putting it in a bowl. Um... But you said putting it in a plastic bag. That's, and when, yeah, the simplest it. is when you're marinating stuff and you want to sit it overnight, that's the best time to let, let flavors really soak into what you're doing, is that do it a day ahead. And mm -hmm. But I, I didn't do that. I, I mean, I could have done two. I could have had one sitting in there and then showed one, but hey. Okay, let's get moving. We got some paprika. A little dusting. Yeah. More than a dusting? No, well, more than dusting. And then our garlic powder. We're gonna probably put about the same amount of that in there. Um, and stuff like this, if you don't want to use garlic, fresh garlic is always better. Oh, sure. But I'm lazy today. I'll put a bit of oregano. And a lot of other people that would want to make this are lazy too. So. Because this is, I mean, this is, we're doing this really fast and it'll taste, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's not gonna penetrate the chicken as, as, as it's sitting overnight. It's, it's not gonna but, make the dinner taste awful, is what you're saying. Yes. It'll still taste awesome. And then we're gonna. You see a nice color there. You need like, like a mini whisk. Yeah, I'm just gonna mix it. And then we can put a little bit of, we're gonna put a little touch of salt and pepper in there. And we're gonna put that, we're gonna dip the chicken in and then we're gonna do it in the pan. So I'm just gonna grab salt and pepper from here. A little salt, a little pepper. Mmm. Nice. And the chicken. These are big. Oh, I can feel a bone right there. So it's still at the bone in. There's a little, see, see the bone fragment there? Yeah. So 
I'll just get on oh, that. Yeah. That's supposed to be boneless? I don't know. Did we? Uh, maybe I just didn't look. <laughs> it's not a big deal. You can see the, see the bone in there? So we're going to come in. Trying to take it as close to the bone as possible. Of course, you want all the meat. And to cook it up faster, so this piece here is, is the tender. You can feel there's right. a little bit of cartilage there, so we're going to take that off. And so we got two. I'm going to take it right from the end and go about halfway through. This is called butterflying. Butterflying. You're, so you're not coming all the way through. Yep. So you got nice. This will make it cook faster. We're going to do the next one. What we're going to do is we're going to dip that in and we're going to do it in the pan. So we're going to do the same thing with this one. I mean, what you could do with this is actually probably. You reuse it as a broth just that yeah. you had a bunch of it and I always love saving stuff whenever I do chicken and I have a roasted chicken I always always save the bone and then I, I make a soup and I use it for broth so take I'm off take fat. Some, take, yeah trim off the fat that's always a good idea and then just rub your you know, just in case you cut a piece of bone in there, you always have that cartilage that runs around so here. Feel, so you can feel see the it. meat with your fingers just to make sure that there's no yeah, so we're gonna take, sharpness. We're take that off, and we're gonna do oh, the same nice. thing. So now we've we've cleaned it it's nice. Take a bit of fat off the end there. Yeah. So it's gonna flip it there. Same thing. Start on one end. And come about halfway through, and don't bring the knife all the way through once you get to the thing. But you can you'll see it fold over. Just make a little line. See so yeah, it there. Chances are you can actually buy butterfly chicken breasts already done for you. Mm. Uh, I'm sure some stores do that. So you're just going to dip it on each side. Yeah, and we're going to do it in the pan, so we're just going to put it like this. Obviously, if it's sitting overnight, it's a lot better. Yeah. But this will just give us our flavor there. So we're going to bring it over to the stove. Just go to the pan heat. I just want to make sure that's coated nice. Mmm. Look at that. Put the pan heat up two Lovely. seconds there. Wouldn't you agree? Mm hmm. Mm, yes, Yoda says Ken must use the force. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is one of the things we can do while we're waiting for the pan to heat up, Paul? Let's see. I think it's beer time. Beer. Yes. Okay. What did I get this time? This time, I we're, bought. Oh, there, there. Ooh, red stripe. Red stripe. I've done uh, reviews on this. It's my favorite, like island beer. One of my favorite island beers. I've got many, but uh, it's in the old stubbies. In uh, Canada, all of our beers were uh, in these, called, and we called them stubbies. A long time ago. A long time ago. Cheers, sir. I still remember the stubbies. This is a lager, and it's 5% alcohol. Straight up, I believe. Mm, I think it is, too. Yeah. yeah. Well, 4.7. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. I'm sitting on a beach. In the sun. In. Without suntan lotion, getting a sunburn. <laughs> Jamaica. Oh, I love that beer. It's good. If you have the means, uh, you can't buy these at the beer store. I don't think. Liquor store sells Only them. liquor store sells them in, in Ontario, Ontario, anyway. We know of. Yeah, probably in the States you can get them. The States have seen In them. gasoline stations. You can get them everywhere. <laughs> Cheers. We're up tight. To cook some chicken in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> the slow mo guys. Slow motion cooking. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh that smells God. good. Put the heat up a bit. Definitely. Then here's the best part about cooking. <laughs> I agree for some reason. Well, I started getting. Well, you know what? Uh, to me, it's all about efficiency. So. A lot of times when I'm, I'm, I'm cooking, because I'm so used to being a busybody in the kitchen, I wash dishes in between while something's on doing like That's this. That's a great idea. I'll wash and then I'll put, I'll, I'll put stuff in a bowl, I'll have, so that when I finally sit down, it's already cleaned up. Or pretty close to it, so you have less to do after. Some people like, you know, this is... Yeah, there's nothing worse to sit down, you, have, you enjoy your meal, and then you look back and at you the look kitchen. Over and there's a mountain of pans, like this high, <laughs> and you're like, oh. And then you're, you're trying to eat fast instead of enjoying your meal because you're stressed about the mess. Right. Enjoy Clean as you go. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. How do you know your chicken's done? Is it the same kind of thing? It's a jiggle feel, like a jelly? Uh, chicken's a lot firmer. Like right now, I'm, not, I'm just, I'm just going to let it cook. And you're going to let I didn't white, put any. I didn't put out. any oil or anything in the pan. There was. I did uh, leave a bit of the bacon fat in. Oh, okay. Like I, I dumped the bacon fat, let it cool. But you didn't clean out the pan. I didn't clean out the pan. Um, because this is, I mean, I dipped the uh, chicken in oil, so right. it's already got oil on it, so I didn't need to. Uh, got it. So same. It's almost 
sew it in here, we'll wait a bit longer, but see how it's going like white around the edges now? Yeah. So that's the cooked chicken. We're gonna wait till it cooks a little bit more so I want to brown it a bit, and then when you give it the flip, and then I'll show you how you know when it's, uh, when it's ready I there. can't wait. Can you smell that? It smells absolutely fantastic. Yes. Mm. Okay. Now you can see it's, it's whiter along the sides now, so we're gonna give it a little bit of a flip. Same thing, you can tell like all of you just flipped it so we saw the one side how it's raw. You can tell just by like you see how it's it just goes yeah, in. It's a little bit of a jello feel, yeah, right? Yeah, it feels like yeah, like jello so it's jiggly. You know that's that's raw chicken. That's raw you'll, chicken. You'll know when it, it will firm right up. I like either that. undercook it or overcook it. Uh, it's a surprise when I cook it perfectly. Mm. And if you're burning it too much, just put the heat down the touch. Right. I'm hungry. Beer. And Ken's wearing his tickled toad shirt today. Hey, hey, hey! Nice. <laughs> <laughs> My trusty salad spinner. Ooh. Costco, twenty nine ninety five. Nice. <laughs> Dinner time. Oh, see, way to hide. Turn it down. Yeah, look at that raw. Yeah. So it's probably best to cut that off, wouldn't it? Instead of kind of perfecting it. Well, that's, yeah, mm -hmm. the piece is kind of, I could have, when I, I could have pushed it down, flattened it, when I flip it, it would flip it back. Yeah. Danger, very good. Right, danger. Good. danger, danger. Danger, danger with Robinson. Brought to you by Red Stripe. <laughs> Not. Hey, is it ready, Paul? It looks like it's ready, Ken. You can feel, just go for the, the, the thickest spot, it's nice and firm. Okay. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna put on the cutting board right now. I'm gonna start getting the rest of the salad ready because it's still a bit hot. Because usually it's it's you're using uh, chilled uh, chicken. Okay, it's not a hot so salad. It's not a hot salad at all. So usually you have usually you have the chicken left. You have, best is when you have, you have chicken left over in the fridge, roasted chicken or or you've had fried chicken or whatever, and it's pull it apart, dice it up. Because the whole thing about the cob salad is diced. And the whole thing's a cold salad. It's cold salad. Yeah. So we're gonna let that cool a second. We're gonna start getting the salad ready. For his last week, we just put the chicken outside for a minute. We could, oh yes, in that <laughs> snow. Today is warm. So, we're gonna put the salad down first. And that's the base, you said, right? Yeah. Now some, I mean, you can use, and use what you have. If you have romaine, if you have a, a spring mix or different lettuce that you wanna use, mm. we're using this, we have it. So your Spin base, you have- Baby spinach, oh. Baby spinach, oh. Mix it up. So the thing with the Cobb salad, you'll see that we didn't do our egg yet. <laughs> All right, Paul, so let's do some boiled eggs. Let's do some boiled eggs. I'm gonna do up a couple of extra because I think my wife wants for other to. Situation. Uh, That's a lot of water. It's just gonna like there we go. boil over. Take it down a bit. And we'll just put that on, fire it up. There How you long go. is it gonna take to hard boil? Uh, just. My trick, start with cold water. Right. Put it in. When it comes to a boil, let it boil for a couple minutes. Turn it off, let it sit for five minutes, and then you're gonna run it in cold water. We'll do that, we'll let this, we're gonna take some time out. We're gonna let that come to a boil. Let it sit, shock it with cold water, and then we're gonna peel them. Cool. And it's easy, because a shock, if you don't shock them with the cold water, they're hard to peel. Right. And that's a little bit of a trick there. Uh, <laughs> oh! <laughs> So while we're waiting for the eggs to boil, what's, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna dice up the chicken, which I should have done the eggs a long time ago, but I was sleeping. Again, you're fired. So same thing, like regular dice. Turn it like this. No, oh, you don't leave them in long chunks, eh? No, we're, we, want it, we want it into a dice. Turn. Mmm. That smells delicious. And beautifully cooked, I must say. I'm just gonna put that in a bowl. And it's cooling down pretty quick because I left it on the cutting board like that, which is nice. We'll just let that as ready to go for a salad. Then we're just gonna do the eggs last, which will just give us like another five minutes, and then we'll be ready to put these masterpieces together. Nice. Mm -hmm. We'll give this a wash too. Oh, oh. <coughs> put a mouse trap there. Eggs. 
Excellent. They look boiled. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Making sure the handle's not hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump the uh, hot, hot water out. Oh, oh there goes my lens. You see? <laughs> I'm going to run some really cold water here. How's that running there? Plus, we handle them right now, it's gonna be really hot. Yeah, so, but that, but so, it, so there's two things you're doing here. You're yeah. cooling them down. Yes, and it's shocking the, the skin. So when you when you when you're peeling it, it makes it separate easier. Yeah, fill that right up. We're gonna try and speed things up a bit. Those so eggs are gonna heat up the water pretty quick. Yeah, I'm gonna throw some ice in there. <laughs> Technology's great. What <laughs> there we go. Oh! Okay, Paul, what's up? Hopefully they're not too hot. It's still warm. So when you're peeling it now, it makes it a lot easier. Shell comes off quickly. Sometimes in like big chunks. Sometimes too. Oh, see, I broke a piece. Depends on the age of the egg too, but it makes it really does, eh? it does, yeah. If, I didn't know that if the eggs are older, they they really stick. If it's Nice. Oh, oh. <laughs> so there's one. Make sure there's all the shells. I'm just gonna give it a dip, just to any shell that's might be on there. We only need two. Just because you don't want to be shellfish. I don't want to be shellfish with it at all. It smells like Paul's got bad gas now. Yeah, mm. oh, Fuji Capay stuff. My eyes are burning. Like I'm a very great egg example. 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 <laughs> <laughs> just gonna drop that in there. And just then get the shell off, right? If you if you're chilling when you chill eggs, just you can leave them. You can either peel them or leave them in the fridge like that. But obviously, if all of a sudden you've got them mixed up, you go, which ones are boiled? When it's been boiled, it'll spin. If you try and spin a raw egg, it'll be like boo boo because you didn't oh, okay. spin it. So you, so you just go like that, and you know it's you know it's been boiled. Nice. So you can do like that. You spin a dozen eggs to find the one that's not boiled. Yeah. So I'm just gonna dice this up. So it's a little bit hot still, but it's fine. Mmm, egg. 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 I thought you were just gonna like... Do you little quarters here? Well, you, the cob salad, the whole thing is a presentation, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna, well, this is, I'm just gonna lay it across like that in a section. So, I'm gonna make it look really nice. Of course. So I'm gonna put the chicken towards the center here, in a line. And notice I use rectangular plates. Doesn't matter, but it's just, just so I can lay it out and show it better. Like that. Mmm, that smells good. It smells really good. Doesn't matter the order you're Onion. putting it. You're just trying to. You want color too. So I notice I got the egg because you have the white. So I'm going beside it with the green onion to make it make the to sort of accent it to make it stand out more. I left a line in there because I'm going to do tomato because of color. See, you want to see the lines of of your ingredients nicely on there. Nice. So I'm trying to contrast what I got there. See, it's starting to look really nice. Oh. Eh? I'm gonna put carrot on this end. And because I've got the cheese on that side, I'm gonna do the avocado chunks on one side. I just wash my hands quickly. How's the smell, Kenny? It's looking good, smelling awesome. And then some bacon. That sprinkle all over everything or in a line again? I'm gonna do a line and put it in here. We're gonna add a bit of space there. It's bacon. Mm. So, again, in some places they'll actually put the salad dressing over top of it. Some mix the, side. the uh, salad first. Oh, with it in it. Yeah, and the only thing I've left is a blue cheese. So, I got a bit of line here. So, I'm gonna put this one right in between my, oh my chicken. Oh, my. That look perfect. That's chicken an exact right in between spot. the chicken and tomato. So there we go, and now we're almost done. So some will mix. I'm gonna just wash my hands again quickly. Does that look good? Oh boy, boy. boy. I had 
to say it. I knew you were going to say it. So some will mix the dressing or put on the side, whatever. We have this beautiful ranch. I'm just going to drizzle it on top. So, mm, that is one good looking salad. Oh man, that looks picture perfect. Picture like perfect. Right there. How's that look? It's looking good. Just don't get it on my camera. <laughs> You're going out to dinner after this too. Yeah, I just found out we have a birthday dinner. We forgot. <laughs> we forgot about. I'm getting two dinners. I'm the lucky guy. I might be a little That's heavier right. next video, but we're still gonna eat this and enjoy it. So let's uh, we'll put this on the table there. Let's go. All right, guys. As you can see, Paul has finished his creation, and we are going to indulge. I've personally never had a Cobb salad in my life. So, scratch. I just Scratchy. wanted to do that. Sniff, again. Oh my gosh. Nice. So, you just like mix it up and, and grab little bits and pieces. Yeah, and it's, uh, it smells amazing. That is fantastic. And buddy. it's such a simple, a simple salad to do. You can have leftovers in your fridge, dice up, and if there's something you don't like avocado, don't put it on. You want something extra, you want, you want radishes on it, throw it on. Just line it up. You can always make anything look really good just in the presentation. Uh, oh, here we go. Eat. You ready? Yeah. Mm. I didn't want to hear more from Paul. I want to hear. And sometimes the simplest of things make such good food, like a ranch dressing. Who would know? And how long would that have taken you if I wasn't in your way with the camera? I would have flew through this. <laughs> yeah. How long? Give people an idea. I probably honestly could have whipped it up in like 15 minutes. If I didn't, if I had chicken done, hard boiled egg, it would have been, it would have been like a five minute meal. I would just throw right. it in and boom. Yeah. I could see that. It's all about what you have ready and what you don't. Like today mm -hmm. we, didn't, we didn't have chicken ready, didn't have eggs ready, and then we kind of muffed that up. Wow. <laughs> I'm loving the avocado. That's one of my favorite salads. Wow. Blue cheese. Avocado, chicken, tomato. Mmm. That is fantastic, man. So next time you're out and about, you got a restaurant and you're thinking about a good salad to try, I recommend the Cobb salad. But of course, going from this to a restaurant Cobb salad, this has spoiled me, I think. I've never had a Cobb salad so good in a restaurant. <laughs> there you go, you heard it from the man. One of the things we keep forgetting to do is rate the food. Mm. And it's, I guess it's hard to rate it on my rating system, uh, just because of course it's gonna be a go out and get it now. But you can't actually go out and get it now. Go so. out and make it now. Go out and make it now. You guys know the recipe. Check it out in the description below. Don't forget to check out our playlist of all of our cook and review videos just for you. Thanks again, Paul, for making this and amazing. just for you. <laughs> this is an absolutely fantastic meal. I cannot wait to finish it off. And I think next week... What are we gonna do next week? I think we're gonna do some burritos next week. Hey, yeah, lot, some people said burritos, and lots of people uh, thumbs up that person's comment. So if so, you want us to do burritos next week, Give us a thumbs up and uh, we'll make it We'll make it happen. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, put in the comments what kind of burritos you guys would like. Mm -hmm. Maybe like the lime tequila burrito, something like that. That'd be cool. Paul can do anything. All right, guys, if you like this video, work. give it a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken and Paul Cook and Review. Ken and Paul out. out. out.